Hello everyone, this is the artistic doc from Arjikar Medical College, Kolkata. Today, we will discuss about the testicular torsion. So for that, we will first discuss about the anatomy and function of the testis. Then we will jump into it. Before the journey, subscribe the artistic doc channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Normally, testis looks like this. This is bilateral in nature and ovoid in shape, which lies posterior to the penis and anterior to the anal orifice. The testicles are situated inside the scrotum. The testes are located within the scrotum in such manner that the epididymis is situated on the posterolateral aspect of each testicle. For this orientation of the testis, the testis never rotates normally. Testis is the primary sex organ of male which produces firstly sperms and secondly testosterone. Along with the testis, there is epididymis and distal part of the spermatic cord inside the scrotum. Epididymis helps in the maturation of the sperm and it contracts to channelize the sperms to the spermatic cord. The vast difference carries the sperm from the testis to the ejaculatory duct. The testis is supplied by the testicular arteries which directly derives from the abdominal aorta. The venous drainage of the testis is by the pampiniform plexus of veins. Now come to the testicular torsion. Testicular torsion is a surgical emergency. Let's first look into the risk factors of the testicular torsion. Number one, there may be higher attachment of the tunica vaginalis that is called bell clapper testis. Look at the orientation of the testis at that moment. The testis can rotate freely due to its higher attachment. Number two is the inversion of the testis. There may be testicular inversion which may cause the torsion of the testis. The third risk factor is the undescended testis and the fourth one is the torsion of cyst of morgagni. The testicular torsion is usually a spontaneous in nature and seen in young males. It can happen from birth to the pubertal age group. The patient will present with acute scrotal pain with swelling. The differential diagnosis can be epididymoarchitis, but there may have the history of UTI. There are three clinical signs which helps us to differentiate the testicular torsion from the epididymoarchitis. The first sign is brain sign, second is deming sign and the third is angel sign. The testis may be swollen or it can go to the higher position due to the shortening of the spermatic cord. The higher position of the testis can be appreciated clinically. That is called the deming sign. The clinical diagnosis is supported by the Doppler and the management is scrotal exploration. If the surgery is done within 6 hours, then the testis is 100% salvageable. The testis remains viable and we have to do just derotate the testis and do orchidopexy. After 6 hours, there may be chance of tissue necrosis and there may be infertility. So we have to do orchidectomy then. Usually there is prophylactic orchidopexy is done in the same setting. Hope you have learned a lot of information. Please do share the video. Press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. And see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.